Toyota after the game next on ABC7. From ABC7, this is Toyota after the game. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to Toyota After the Game. Larry Beal along with the ex-warrior Donald Foyle, the coach, Kerry Keating. Mindy Bach will join us in just a few minutes live from the city of brotherly love. I can only assume that at halftime, down 12, Steve Kerr said, let's order in the vintage Philly cheesesteaks, <laughs> get some protein, get some carbs, come out, play some D in the second half. It works, but they win by three. Definitely Geno's, of course, but... <laughs> Tony Lukes, Tony Lukes. Tony Lukes is the closest to the stadium. <laughs> no, but I, I think this is really a tale of two halves. I mean, the first half, I thought the Warriors will look uninterested. They weren't really uh, interested in, in playing defense. And in the second half, they came out, they were more focused. The shots didn't particularly go down any, any better than in the first half, but I think the defensive, um, the, the attention to defense uh, was very, very key to that. And late fourth quarter, especially Draymond. I think Draymond, when Draymond's engaged defensively, no matter who's on the floor for the Warriors, obviously no clay tonight, things change dramatically. And obviously, I know Ron Adams is hoping for that a lot earlier than the playoffs but it still shows that when Draymond is locked in on defense, a lot can change for the better for these Warriors. Yeah, at times in this game, it looked like they were out of gas or disinterested yeah. or just, I don't know, they were, they were out of sync, but they pulled it together, put the vice grips on in the fourth quarter and were able to pull out a 120-117 victory. Toyota Player of the Day, Kevin Durant. Uh, there were a time...